Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Don't mess with Kim Tate is the one lesson that any Emmerdale fan would impart to a new villager. Rose made that mistake at her own risk. And when Kim finds out, she takes action before Rose vanishes for no apparent reason. When her handbag is subsequently found by the police, Kim appears shady. Has her murderous side finally returned? In relation to murderers, Ella Forster, Paula Lane, is attempting to restore her relationship with Lion Cavanay, Johnny McPherson, but it is ruined when the sonographer informs her that she is not pregnant since he believes she lied about being pregnant. However, nothing in this community is ever quite black and white, so it's never quite that simple. Rose explains to the children that she is making their time more enjoyable because they are unable to go outside, but Will warns her not to overshadow Don and Billy's hard work. Rose is completely settled at home farm and has even put up a bar while Kim is staying at the B&B. &B. Kim, meantime, drove to the suburbs to meet with the dealer from the previous week. Desperate to discover who is causing all the issues, she wants to know who booked him. She knows Rose isn't the mastermind, even though the dealer will provide all the information. Mandy is invited to accompany pregnant Ella to the ultrasound, and she also needs to get a paternity test done for Liam. Ella begins experiencing stomach cramps while she is at work. Vanessa takes it seriously, and she ought to be examined. Jay is enraged. On their wedding anniversary and the anniversary of his father's passing, Laurel brought up the subject of lawyers. While Laurel is at work, Jay starts to cause trouble. Kim's eyes are focused on Caleb. In a cafe, she meets Lydia who is plotting and whispering that she has taken some revenge. The police soon question Caleb over a fire at his place of employment. They obviously believe it was arson. Patty makes an effort to get in touch with Lion before Ella scans. Lion wants to go with Ella, but she says no. When the conveyance goes awry, Lion goes with her to the scan where the sonographer gets her reading, but there isn't a fetus. Liam is accusing Ella of lying to him before she can give an explanation, saying that she didn't want him at the scan since there was never a baby. Between Jay and Laurel at work, things are challenging. He is making things really uncomfortable for the other workers who have to listen to him by making fun of her. Patty comforts Liam in the village, who is shocked Ella could have gone so low as to claim there was a baby. Though he believes her to be completely insane, is there more going on here than meets the eye? Rose is allowing Will and her relationship to return to its previous state with ease. Rudy soon runs into Rose and tells her that her assignment is over so she can go to bed with Will. Will, meantime, is pissed off at home farm because Kim disregarded him earlier because she was preoccupied with chatting to Caleb. When a man is down, Rose spots him and goes in for the kill. Will responds in kind. Kim's thoughts are diverted by a light conversation with Caleb, and soon after, she arrives at Ruby's and nemesis her elegant brandy. They should talk for a short while, Ruby says, realizing that Kim is aware of this. Ruby tries to keep up, saying that she is merely waiting for the fireworks to happen when Kim's life blows up. Ruby says that Kim and Ruby are no longer married, but Kim disagrees. Will tells Rose that their evening together wasn't meant to be. Rose expresses her want for more, but her expression darkens when she learns that Ruby has called. Kim soon returns to home farm, at which point everything collapses, since she is aware of everything. Samson is going to enter a guilty plea at his upcoming plea hearing. He accepts that he will be going to prison. Sam and Lydia surmise he is unaware of the true nature of what is about to happen. Sam wants Aaron to give Samson a pep talk about being a prisoner. Sam is quickly startled to discover Kane abusing and provoking Samson, but it soon becomes evident that he is preparing him for incarceration. Kane believes he will be reduced to nothing by the other prisoners. 
Samson begs him to assist him in fighting dirty, approaching with an air of severity. Mora is enraged to discover Cain frolicking with Samson, branding him the thug who imprisoned Maddie. They all realize she is going too far when she firmly clutches Samson's face. PC Swirling finds Rose's handbag and makes her way to Home Farm to inquire about her well-being. Will and Kim attempt to hide their guilt. The fact that Samson is receiving greater care from the Dingles than from Maddie offends Mora. The primary suspect in the arson of his own vehicle rental company is Caleb. Knowing that her grudge against Kim was the reason for this made Ruby sick to her stomach. Next week, Emmerdale will feature dramatic moments when Kim Tate makes an astounding revelation. Rose Jackson, Ruby Fox Milligan's partner, only recently set Kim up for Don Taylor's automobile crash after she spiked Kim. As fans of the soap opera will remember, Rose was the real masterman behind the whole thing. Her original plan was to spike her ex-husband, Will Taylor, but due to a mix-up in the drinks, she wound up poisoning her own estranged daughter, Don. Rose went to such extremes to conceal her treachery that she even set up the tranquilizer to be delivered to home farm by the drug dealer she met, claiming Kim had purchased drugs from him and he needed the money. After Rose admitted to the spiking, Lydia Dingle became involved, turning Kim's family against her. She'd moved to the neighborhood B&B, &B, determined to prove her innocence. According to next week's spoilers, Kim, who is more worried about Rose's employer, contacts the drug dealer from last week in a frantic attempt to learn more, particularly who actually booked him. Kim finds out from their conversation that Rose isn't the genius behind the plot, even though the dealer won't offer her any details. Soon after, Kim begins to have suspicions about Callum Milligan, the son of her late ex-husband, Frank Tate, who once attempted to swindle her out of home farm. Later, Kim tells Lydia that she has taken some revenge, and the police question Callum about the fire at his workplace because they believe it was set deliberately. Kim, however, quickly comes to the conclusion that Ruby, Callum's wife, may be the one behind it all when she visits her home and finds a fancy bottle of brandy that she has obviously stolen from home farm. Ruby becomes alarmed when she realizes that Kim is aware that they need to have a brief conversation after Kim warns her. Ruby tries to hold her own while telling Kim that her marriage to Will is gone, a fact that Kim disputes, and warning her that she is simply waiting for the fireworks when Kim's life implodes. Later that week, PC Swirling stops by Home Farm to check on Rose's well-being after discovering her purse. Meanwhile, Kim returns there, certain that she has everything under control. Will and Kim attempt to hide their shame over the shocking revelation. What have they done? Thanks for watching if you liked this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.